All right, YouTube, welcome to this video, YouTube. What we about to do right now, let's change the fuel filter. Let's change the fuel filter right here. Up on the BMW. So anytime you have problems with your fuel, you you know, I recommend that if you're gonna change the fuel pump, change the fuel filter. This is how it looks right now. And you're gonna go up in the car and start taking this stuff apart, but this is what we about to put on your day. It's a fuel filter for a 2003 BMW 530i. So we're gonna change this today. Alright, so rock with the brother. I'm about to change the fuel filter, so let me see if I can get this camera to this phone anyway. Just sit up so you can see what I'm doing. Alright, that's what we're gonna put that right there. Hopefully that don't fall over. So I have to take out really if these bugs. I gotta take out these here, these screws here, and I got these on the back. So we're gonna try to change that right now. But the thing is, I already know. Let me back it up a little bit because I already know some, some of that might just come out. So bear with it, brother. I'm gonna get these off right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some rags or something down here so I can catch some of the fuel when it come out of here. In there, but it might be some in there. So that's why we're gonna put these towels down here real quick so we can catch some of the fuel that comes out. I have a bucket, but we're gonna go with this real quick. some of this down so I'm get off on the floor but the fuel shouldn't be that bad because we got we got some sand I got some sand in the back so whatever hit that I'll put some sand down a quick speedy dry you ain't got no speedy dry cat cat litter always work if you ain't got no speedy dry you go with the cat litter because it always works but I'm gonna try to get some of this now Come down, I'm trying to get a bucket so it all can run down in there. Let me get some right now. Well, that's water, I thought. Oh man, all right, let me get some. <clears throat> all right, we got a pill here. So, basically, what we doing, if you're just coming by, we changing the, the fuel filter under this 2003 BMW. So, change it. I ain't worried about the gag because the gas is diluted, ain't no good. The gas is done under here. I gotta get it now, at least get it down, put it back up. There you go. Put that right there. <coughs> Try to get this out first, so at least let it drain out. Hey, <coughs> when you're doing this job, make sure that you got on. Um, make sure you got, you got the, what's the name? The, um, let me pull it from this thing. If you're doing something like this, make sure you got the the fuel relay out. <coughs> but basically, I got the battery on. I got the battery detached, so right now I ain't gonna worry about it too tough. The battery not on. So make sure you at least take off the ground wire. Anytime you messing with it, take the ground wire off and um, go from there. See the cut so the gas sit in the car for 11, 10 to 11 years. So basically what we doing, I already changed the fuel pump. Right now I gotta wait for the level sensor, the level sensor to come through. So once that comes through, then um, I can go ahead and do what I need to do to change that. So I'm gonna have to hold off it to that. I'm gonna, if I can't get it tomorrow, I'm gonna order it today. It'll be here by next week. So then I'll be this price. I wanted to start the car this week. If I can't find it, then I just have to start the car next week. That's all. But what I want to do is move this without breaking nothing. Okay. I'm trying to hold it here so I ain't gonna break it. It's gonna splash out anyway. All right. Careful because it don't splash out. I already know. Oh, we got a tube here on the top. You want to take out? That's like a breather line. Take the breather line off the top. And try to get this out the best way you can. I already know it's gonna it's gonna drip. I don't know how much in it though, but it's gonna definitely drip out. 
to try not to damage the holes, you might have to get another one. But we will see how it comes out. I don't know if anything in here, to be honest with you. Something about to drip out. Yeah, it's coming up now. It's on, it's on here. Let me pull this this way. Let it do pop out. I already took the screw. The back screw here you got to take out too. Why didn't finish getting that? Let me get that. It's a back screw you got to take out. So you can drop so you can drop it off. Let me get my electric one, but... come out okay those are gonna come out so now we're gonna get the two in the back we'll let that hang and that much gas in there plus it was 30 so let's get these on the back here let's get this one here first there's water dripping on my hand For this car to be sitting up for 11 years, about 10, 11 years, it's the short cleanup under here. So we'll post this video today right here. Let's put the fuel filter and all of it. See, it's coming off now, and that's coming off. Just need to get this one here. Slide this one back too. So we can get whatever's gonna come out of here, baby. That's that. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on, baby. You gotta make sure you know it's going back the same way. Alright? So the you can put it back on the same way. Alright, so make sure you know that. There you go. Hey, ain't nothing come out of there. Hey, I don't know how dirty this is. But that's what it is. I might have to take um this piece might have to come off this. So I can get that out. So let me see something real quick. Get that up. I guess that clamp was there to keep this from coming out. I think. So we'll take that clamp for now. I don't know what why what they had that there. I don't know. Is this official BMW part? Ah, made in Israel. Hmm. 1509. Okay. We need to get this off right here. The clamp gotta come off. I get that clamp off. YouTube, I get right back at you as soon as I get this clamp off. All right, YouTube, we got the black clamp off of it. So, something weird though, they had silicone on the tip here. I don't know why they had silicone on it. I gotta figure that one out. They had silicone right here. 
but let me go ahead and put everything back together. They had silicone on both sides, so I guess they had a silicone to keep it from leaking. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing. All right, or well, I might have to get new lines. I'll we'll just tighten them down. I'll put some silicone on it. All right, YouTube. Keep right back with it. All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Got your boy, Trucker DIY. We got the new fuel pump here, no, the fuel filter. We're installing a new fuel filter. We got it here. We already got the clamp on it right here. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do right now, we gotta take out, we gotta take these off right here. All right, so what you're gonna need to take these little screws off, I had one that got one here. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna need a, um, not this one. These little screws on here for BMW, if you don't have them, you're gonna need a, what is this? Uh, this is an eight millimeter. All right, you're gonna need an eight, you're gonna need an eight on this. It says E8, but it's an eight. You're gonna need this, put it on here. I'm gonna put this back on here so I don't I don't lose it. I don't wanna lose this, all right? So I'm gonna take these off, cause I got new ones. I got new ones like this. I had to get new ones. Hold up, hold up, oh, we got a problem there. That one a little too big. That's a little too big, so I guess I gotta go back. Get back in the house and get another one. All right, so that's a little too big. So we gotta take, at least take one off and take it in the house. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, be right back, YouTube. Be right back. All right, YouTube, be back. So we got 11. So these right here is 11. So I don't know if y'all can see the number. We got 11 here, so. So we gonna put this on the ground here, right there like so. Put this here. I just wanna get these off the back here so we can slide them off. That's all. Hold on. Put this fuel filter on because once, if you're going to change the fuel pump, I recommend you, you don't have to, but I recommend you to change bugs out here. Uh, I had to edit that, but a lot of bugs out here today. All right, so. I should have got my power drill. All right, so that's loose. That's off. See if this come off. Nah, you don't really want to pull the wires because you don't want to pull nothing. You want to mess around pull something out of place. You got to stretch it back, but everything on this car is still good in one, in one tack, so there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got some gas. I don't know. Gas coming down, ain't worry about it. Slime on there real quick, man. Wanna hold that bar right here? Might wanna hold this. Get them on there tight. Pull that back here, like that. Put that here. And get the one on top. Mm -hmm. Try to wiggle it on, you ain't gotta really force it, but if not, you could you could try to screw it up in there. And like push it in there. Until it get too far back right there. Pull up. Try to lift it up so I can push it. There you go. I'm gonna try to get these out so you can so you can screw them. There you go. I'm gonna put those there. That's on. That'll go there. This on. I'm just gonna tighten them down. All right. It's flush. Make sure it's flush on the back end. All, right. All you gotta do now. This one on the bottom. That one on the top. So I'm just gonna try to push them on. All right. So put that in there. This in here like so. I'll go with the top first. You put that top on first. The bottom one I have to put on. Uh -huh. Try to get this one on too. Try to get them both on at the same time. Uh -huh. 
Try to slide that back off. Now screw it, try to get that back there. Try to get this one back here too so you can slide more. Sometimes it's good to have like W40 if you have any. Put them on. <clears throat> That's on. Try to wicker this last one in there. Move that back a little more. Back that off. The top is in and the bottom is out. So make sure you know that. Make sure the top is in and the bottom is out. So we just gotta put that in, put that in there. Okay, that goes there. Try to screw it, open this up a little bit. Mosquitoes fucking messing with me. All right, so we're gonna try to get this on. Try to get the top on first, because that's sometimes you're gonna get one be a little harder than the other. So, all right. So, the mosquitoes, something biting me. So, try to get this on now. There you go. We got that on the back. You want to get this on the back? Loosen that one a little more. Mosquitoes, whatever. That's one right there. Tighten them both up. <clears throat> but what I want to do too first, uh, let me tighten those up now. Come on, make sure I got enough room. I got enough room on that. All right, so try to hit them now. I check. I ain't gonna put the cover back on until I start the car. So I'm gonna make sure that everything is tight. Make sure ain't no leaks. So. So I get the cover back on, then I'll come on the head, make sure you no leaks, then I'll put the cover on. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up now, as much as I can. Don't, just don't over tighten them, because sometimes your strength can deceive you sometimes, so. get this out the way now so I changed the fuel pump I put a new sending unit for the fuel new fuel pump new sending unit now waiting for the new level the level sending unit behind the driver's seat to come that's a level sensor once that come then I can go ahead and do what I gotta do with this You got this screw here, the screw in the back here. That's the screw I gotta get in there too. It's a screw right here on the back. I might have to, it's too far back. I might have to move it down a little more. All right, so the screw right here on the back end. That gotta go up in here. All right, so we gotta loosen that up.
So there's a this bracket goes up in here too. So I just want to loosen it now so I can know exactly where it's at once I put everything on. Bugs, man. These bugs is tripping, but we gotta get it. Okay, move it back this way. Where we at with this? Okay, right there. Mm -hmm. All right, we should be able to get it. Pull over a little more. Need to get it from there. As long as I can get up in here. I'm trying to see where's that. You, know, you got to do anything. Put your hand. There you go. I got to go under here. See where I'm at with it. It went too far. Yeah. Wait. There you go. So that'll go right there for now. Let me see if I can get this nipple on first. Once I get this on good. Gotta try to like. There you go. Get that up in there. I got the clamp over him good. There you go. Mm-hmm. So you got this one on top. You just breathe the holes. That got to go in here. Um, you think about working on cars, you got to be the maneuver and get up in there. Okay, but I broke something. So that's on right there. Try to get that up in the hole so we can tighten that up. <clears throat> Over one point with it.
There you go. Kind of slight me off right there a little bit. There we go. I hope so. There we go. We on. We definitely on now. You got to make sure you get that up in there. So these are eight. These right here. These are 10. These are 11. And the socket I got right here. Um, Got to be a 12. I can't really see it, but got to be a 12. Once it's time. There you go. All right, we got that. Now we gotta do, like I said, get your eight. Tighten it up. Hit it here. And bugs. That's it. I said check before leaks before you start it, but I can't take a leak now. But that's why I'm not gonna put the cover under here until I know for sure. So I know for sure I'm good. So that'll be next week when the um when the pump come. Not the pump, but the unit. When the level the, the level sensor come. So once that come next week, then I do everything I gotta do. Alright YouTube, that's it. This is up, this is right, that goes up in there. And we don't want that to be rubbing on there because sometimes that can rub out. Let me see if I can pull that out. There you go. Pull it a little bit. I don't want that rubbing like that. Might I'll leave it like that for now. Alright, so we good. There we go, YouTube. That's right there. Everything we got done. All right. That's the piece goes on top here, where my hand is at. That goes on top. Everything is done. Let me show you how quick. All right. Got everything on here. That's on. You got that. That's the screw I was messing with back here. This is on, got that. Go back here. You got these, these two. One, two, one, two. And that's it. That's your fuel filter for a BMW. It ain't gonna cost you this. This probably cost me like a hundred bucks, I think. But BMW charge your arm to leave. They gotta do it for you. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, stick around for the next video. I'm about to do the valve cover gaskets on this. Do the valve cover gaskets and the spark plugs. All right. Salute. Thanks for watching. Trucker DIY, right back at you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We come back with a whole lot more videos. We can be storing this car. It's 5:30. Our BMW Sport. We'll get it together. All right. Get that. Get at y'all. Talk to y'all later. So make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe. A lot of bugs out here. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like. Hit the like. We going one up.